Greetings, everyone. Welcome to ENE Learning Hub. I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for question three from the 2017 CSEC Electrical and Electronic Pass paper. So let's begin. Part one of A. It says, list the names of three types of single phase AC electrical motors used to construct electrical and electronic appliances and equipment. So the three types of single phase AC electrical motors are split phase motor, capacitor motor, and shaded pole motor. So that's it for part one of A. Part two, it says list three types of losses that are produced in the operation of an alternating current transformer. The three types of losses are hysteresis loss, copper loss, and eddy current loss. So that's it for part two of A. All right, so let's move on to part B. So it says, a 120 volt to 12 volt bell transformer operates at 100% efficiency and supplies a 12 volt, six watt alarm bell. The transformer is wound with 400 turns of the primary winding. Part one of B, it says calculate the secondary current. Now, based on what is given from part B, we know that the primary voltage is 120 volt and the secondary voltage is 12 volt. We know that the secondary voltage is 12 volt because that's what is being supplied to the alarm bell along with a power of six watts. All right, so in order to calculate the secondary current, we'll have to use the power formula where P equal to I times V because on the secondary side, we know that 12 volt and a six watt is being supplied to the alarm bell. So we'll have to use those two values to calculate the current. So P equal to I times V, and we need to rearrange this formula to make I the subject. So therefore I is equal to P divided by V. That will give us six watt divided by 12 volt, and that will equal to 0 0.5 amp. Now, seeing that we're calculating the secondary current, we're now going to call that I, IS, and therefore IS will now equal to 0 0.5 amp. All right, so that's it for part one of B. Part two, it says to calculate the primary current. So IP is equal to IS multiplied by VS divided by VP equal 0 0.5 amp multiplied by 12 volt divided by 120 volt and that will give us 0 0.05 amp and that is the primary current and that's it for part two of B. All right, so let's move on to part C. So it says figure four shows the schematic diagram of a three phase direct online motor startup. So here's figure four, the schematic diagram of a direct online motor startup. So let's look at what part C is asking for. So part one of C, it says outline the circuit relationships that are required to connect remote stop and start push buttons so the existing start and the push buttons on the motor starter. Now, when it mentioned remote stop and start push buttons, it's talking about you being able to control the circuit from a different location. All right, so the existing start and stop push button would be at the original location and the remote start and stop push button is from another location. So what they want to know is how you'd go about making the connections. All right, so this is how you do it. So for the remote start push button, you must connect it in parallel with the existing start push button in order to start the motor from a remote location. 
For the stop push button, it must be connected in series with the existing stop push button in order to de-energize the circuit from a remote location. All right, so that's what they're looking for. And that's it for part one of C. For part two, it says, outline three changes that can be made in the connections of a three-phase AC motor to produce a change in direction of rotation of the armature of the machine. All right, so the change in direction of rotation of the armature can be done by interchanging T1 and T2 or T1 and T3 or T2 and T3. All right, so that's it for part two. And that's it for this question.